Hey, hey guys, Revoker1221 here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Advanced Wars. Last time, I left you off right here at the campaign map after completing Mission 18, Wings of Victory against Eagle, which took like two hours of gameplay to do. But yeah, during that mission, we discovered that Eagle believes Annie was the one responsible for all these battles going on everywhere, and we've managed to convince him otherwise for now. So, in this next episode, we're going to find out what had happened but first we must read the dialogue box. I saw his face. That had to be Andy. But, hello Eagle. Sonja, what's she doing here? You, you're Sonja from Yellow Comic. Yeah, thank you for the repetition. What are you doing here? It wasn't Andy who attacked you. It was someone else. Do you know something about all of this? Yes, I do. Oh, this is getting really interesting. I'll tell you who's pulling out all our strings, if you'll follow me. But, I... I know what you're worried about. Go ahead, and go with her. Are you sure it's okay? I'll take care of Green Earth for you, don't worry. That's what she made the fall, right? You have my gratitude, Drake. I like the idea of getting a closer look at the Orange Star Army. I'll meet you again later. Watch yourself, Eagle. Well, here we are, moving on to Mission 19. As we can see, we'll be versing Drake immediately. Immediately. Nadir. But firstly, like I said, all those episodes again, we want to use Sammy for these four Green Earth missions cause, because the reward is so much better at the end of the game. Ready? Mission 18, Battle Mystery against C.O. Drake, Sea Monkey Drake. <laughs> Day 1. Sammy, Provoker, do you read me? What is it, Nell? We have a problem. We've had a problem, Houston. A recon force was sent into Green Earth has been ambushed. So we need to perform a rescue mission, correct? Understood. That's right, specifically, we need you to save this infantry unit. Eight days, Sammy. If you can protect it for eight days, we'll take over. I know you can handle it, Revoker. You have a question, Revoker? Uh, yes I do. My attitude towards Nell? What do you mean? It's not like I'm sucking up or anything. I'm just polite because she was ahead of me in school, that's all. Oh my god. Let's get back to the task at hand. Jeez. Okay, so as we can see, this is a different kind of mission. We have to protect this infantry unit and this infantry unit only. If it loses all its health, then we lose the mission. So it's a rescue mission, 8 days, and we win. So it's going to be a short mission. We're guaranteed to get a high speed rank. And we've got a bit of a problem. You see, over here we've got anti-air units, missile launchers, tanks, and we've got helicopters and stuff. And to get this uh, infantry safe, we have to somehow manage to get him onto our main island, our HQ island. That way he'll be totally safe. So, to begin that, what we do is we move... Hang on. We move this transport copter over here. We wait. We put this guy up here. Load him in. We put these two battle copters around the transport copter to act like a buffer, as a kind of shield. Drop this guy off and wait him. There you go, that's all we're gonna have to do for that island there, and I'm pretty sure that that infantry there is not gonna die at all. Now, see on the... for now we can't see what's exactly on in the sea, but I can tell you there's plenty of cruisers. So if you try and get a... if you try and make your transport copter fly over the... Um, if you make your transport copter try and fly over the sea, you're so gonna get ambushed by like five different cruisers. And cruisers can shoot on copters, so it's not necessarily a good idea. We dive now. Okay, we can see now the, the ocean. See? Cruiser. Cruisers can shoot on air. So what we're gonna be trying to do is loading a, the transport copter into a cruiser at some point during the mission. Right? That way we're safe. That's the best way I can put it. So I'm just gonna quickly hurry up and finish off this my turn. Oh, see this tank? 
I'm not gonna use it at all during this mission. It's just that useless. Um, 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 um. And turn. Day one, green earth. Let's take stock. Anti-air and MD tank units on the ground. So look, he's telling us what, what he has. Cruisers to prevent escape by transport copter. All right, everything's ship shape. There's no escape for that unit. Time to make a big splash and give Eagle some cover. Okay, so now we know what. No. What? No. How could I? No. Oh, how could I stuff that up? That didn't happen last time. What? Oh my god, that is terrible. Um, what to do? Yeah, defeat. Jeez, like one day into the game. Ah, what am I going to do? Uh, I'll meet you right back there in just a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back. The funny thing is, the silly ducker that I am, I forgot to start recording while I was doing this, and instead of putting the infantry into the transport copter directly, I just moved the transport copter up here, and the infantry here. That's all I've done. That's the only thing different. And yeah, that's about it. Let's end my turn now, and see what happens. Day one! Yeah, we've read all this. Press start, skip it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think my battle copters are going to survive very far. Yeah, my battle copters are not going to survive. Okay. If I, I think I, if I lose another unit, no, another, uh, I think two units, that means I lose score on my technique. But so that's a very different mechanic. Oh, look! Oh, I love this! Because we can see, this is an advantage for being a human player. Since we can see the animations for everything moving, and uh, COJ cannot, we saw a sub move here. We know that, but we can't see, so we can't tune on it. But what we can do is... Wait! Ha! I found you! Hooray! And thus, because we know that, we fire upon it. Because cruisers are probably the best counter for a sub. Like, you might think, yeah, cruisers and subs are about at the same level at shooting each other, right? Well, yeah, I thought that too. But then, when you try and shoot... When you try and shoot a cruiser by using your sub, You'll lose so much of your health, and they'll they'll lose like none. So trust me, cruisers are quite the enemy. Okay, let's move him over here. Wait, almost forgot. This guy goes up here. Climb over here. So my plan is to get the infantry unit up to here, and then land him. I mean, load him into a lander that I'm gonna move up here on, in a future day. Okay, you guys. You guys can see my plan unraveling now, can't you? Ha ha ha! Wa ha 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 ha! Why am I even laughing? This better work. I don't want anything to go wrong. Okay, out of my turn. Day two. Oh no! Not tsunami! Okay, look. I totally forgot to mention this when we first met Co Drake. Sure, all, these, all the units are damaged by one, and if they're already on one health, they don't die, so, yeah. But also, oh, ouch, uh, oh, I'm sorry, if you have a unit inside of your transport copter, or inside of, or loaded in anything, that means that that unit inside the other unit does not get damaged. So in other words, the infantry I have loaded in my transport copter is currently undamaged. Something I totally forgot to mention. Day three, my turn. Let me show you. Alright, so here's a guy. We'll hide him in the forest. Ten health! Perfect! And the school day is on ten health because he's the guy we have to protect. Better have him on higher health and lower health. Ooh, okay. Oh no! I totally forgot about that. Damn, I shouldn't have been talking. Thanks guys! Why can't you just shut me up when I talk too much? Uh... Kill him, I think I'll try and take out the sub. I mean, not the sub, the battleship. Because I don't want him to shoot at me. Okay, quick, quick, quick. But, oh no, I almost shot the wrong guy. <laughs> okay. See, Monkey Drake. I don't get it. Why name a sea captain Drake? Isn't the name Drake usually associated with, like, a... Uh, um... How'd you say? Yeah, with dragons? Like in Pokemon. It, Pokemon Sapphire, the 
Elite Four, the, the fourth guy, he is called Dragon Master Drake. So he controls dragons, and that makes sense. So why have this guy a sea captain with his name being Drake? I don't get it. Oh, hang on, now that I think about it, wasn't Dragon Master Drake a sea captain? Hang on, yeah! If my memory serves me right, he was wearing a captain's hat in Sapphire. Okay, oh well, it's day four. I'm happy to leave you guys right here, so next time we'll be completing off this mission. See you guys then.